We're here in St. Pete for the FIB Grand Slam, which is also, um, it counts for Olympic qualification. So um, I've never played in the FIVB here in Florida, which is my home state, so I'm excited to be here. Um, we practiced this morning, and um, we just have a few more things to do this afternoon. Like, um, we just have a schedule that we go through each day leading up to the tournament, so um, we'll watch some video tonight. We gotta go to the gym later, um, just some coaches meeting stuff. Uh, a lot, <laughs> a lot. You just came from overseas, is that right? Yeah, so we've been on the road for probably about a month. We started in New Orleans with the AVP. Straight from New Orleans, we flew to Russia um, for an FIVB. Um, from Russia, we went to Croatia, which is one of my favorite places now, by the way. So from Croatia, we went straight to Norway, which is where we just were. Norway was about, oh, 50 degrees, raining, absolutely freezing. So I was like wearing two pairs of pants to play in and like three long sleeve tops. So going from that to this is just like heaven. I mean, this is why I love to play in, this heat. I'm excited to be here. Um, we actually get to spend a few days here at, at my home down in Fort Myers. So once we leave here Saturday or Sunday, we'll be there for a few days before we go back overseas um, to Netherlands and Switzerland. And I don't even remember where we're going after that. So yeah, lots of travel. Oh boy. Uh, as far as like beaches and tournaments, my favorite, like I said, is Croatia or Switzerland. They're, they're both up there. Um, but as far as like a favorite court here in the States, um, we have a court at my parents' house and I've spent so many hours on that court, frustrated trying to learn the game. Um, so it definitely has a special place in my heart. <laughs> so um, yeah, if I could, if there's one court, I'd pick the one at my parents' house. Um, how do you, um, how do you feel that that's going? Um, well, it's a long process. So I don't know if you guys know, but um, to qualify, they take your best 12 events from the world tour, um, and that qualifying um, start date was this year. So these tournaments start counting towards Olympic points. So we've had three tournaments so far. We're constantly improving. Um, it's such a tough, tough tournament. These teams are so good and teams um, have improved a lot from last year. So it's, you don't look at any teams and be like, okay, this is gonna be, you know, an easier one for us. And nothing is like that anymore. Every team is so good. You have to be on, you have to be firing for each match. So um, we're excited for the journey. Um, we try not to get caught up in it too much. Uh, we just try to go out there and play. And I think if we do that, we're gonna put ourselves in a good position to be in Rio. Very true. Um, I think some players can get really wrapped up in the point system. I mean, each tournament you're dropping points, you're adding points, you're, there's so much to it. So once you get wrapped up in all of that, I feel like you can kind of lose focus to just being out there and playing. Um, last year we had a really good year. Um, so we're kind of just uh, remembering that if we just go out and play with no pressure, that's when we do our best. You have to stay mentally sharp, mentally prepared, but on the right things. Um, something I would tell those kids, those girls that want to do this, um, you know, it gets frustrating. It's not always just fun. Um, but you just have to stick with it. It's part of the game, it's part of life. Um, you, your partners, your teammates will come and go. Um, sometimes you can't control that because they can dump you whenever they want. Um, and it's not always easy to take, but the way you handle that is such a life lesson that you can't really learn any other way. So there's a lot to learn from this game. Um, there's a lot of friendships to be made and um, it's a ton of fun, and I was told so many times that I'm not going to make it, you know, too short for this game. Uh, you didn't start playing until after college, you know, you don't know what you're doing. Um, so stick with it. No one can decide your future. So um, just have some fun. That's the main thing. Don't take the fun out of the sport. I'm um, taking it too seriously or anything. So yeah, if you put your mind to something, 
and you actually dedicate your life to something, um, you know, amazing things can happen. I never thought I'd be standing here talking to you today on FIVB Grand Slam, where I'm representing USA with a chance to qualify for the Olympics. Um, never crossed my mind, but once I packed up my things in Florida and moved to California, that was my mindset. And everyone throwing these negative thoughts my way, it just like bounced off, like you just had to let it go. I mean, you can do, your mind is a powerful tool. And if you use that to your, to your advantage, you can do so many things. Um, being with Rocks is actually really special. Um, they picked me up before I started really even competing AVPs or FIVB. I was just playing Dig the Beaches here in Florida. Um, and they approached me pretty much. And um, yeah, they, they've just been such a huge support system, allowing me to travel to different places, you know, even before I, you know, knew what I was really doing. So to have a company that has faith in me and believes in me, um, just gives me that extra boost of confidence. Just anything I need, I just go to them and they're so open and they just want me to have anything I need to do my best on the court. So um, yeah, it means a lot to be sponsored by Rocks and I'm excited to be a Rocks athlete.